Okay, in this kind of division problem, I'm going to encourage you to pay attention when you are dividing your first number to make sure you can actually divide it by the first number because there's going to be situations where you can't. So for example, on this first one, you have to think, if I have six things, can I divide them into seven groups? No, you can't. So you can't start in the thousands column. You have to look at the first two numbers together to get a number that you can actually divide seven by. So, if it makes it easier for you to remember, you can put a zero right here. That way, that's like a placeholder. Or you could even just put an X here that reminds you that yes, I tried to divide by six, but it wasn't possible. Then you can move on to 67. What's seven divided by 67? Well, you can take um, seven times nine would give you 63. So I'm going to put the 9 up here, straight above the 7 where I was just working. You don't put the number here because it's, we're not working in the thousands column right now. We were working in the hundreds column because we knew that we couldn't divide in the thousands column because it wasn't big enough. So make sure you place this 9 in the right place. That's why we put the X or the 0 right there to hold that place so that we didn't try to put it there. So 9 times 7 equals 63. Now remember, Dad, we just divided. Mom, now it's time we just multiplied. Sister, it's time to subtract, and then after that we'll do brother. We'll bring it on down. So 67 minus 63 will give me 4. Now it's time to borrow down this 8. Now the next number that I write is going to go right above the 8 because I have to keep things straight in alignment. So I can do a 6 here because I know that I can divide 48 into at least seven groups. I know that because seven times six is 42, and that's as close as I can get when I'm counting by sevens to 48, because I can't go over to 49. So I did divided seven divided by 48, then I multiplied six times seven equals 42. Now I have to subtract, which will give me six. Now it's time to bring it on down again. So now I'm trying to figure out how many times can I get 7, uh, how many times can I divide 64 into 7 groups. I can do it 9 times because I know when I count by 7's the closest I can get to 64 without going over is 63. So I can think multiplying to help me divide. So I just divided 64 divided by 7 equals 9. Now I have to multiply 9 times 7 is 63. Now time to subtract. 64 take away 63 would be 1. So my answer is going to be 969 remainder 1. Now if your remainder is bigger than the divisor, you know that you did something a little bit wrong. I need to go back and divide uh, one number bigger because the remainder can't be bigger than this. Otherwise, it just you just need to work your problem again. Now I'm going to do this problem the other way that Miss Barry taught you how to do long division. Okay, I'm going to start in the thousands place. Can I divide seven into the thousands place? No, it goes in zero times. So let's start working in the hundreds place. Can I divide six into sixty-seven? Yes, I can do it nine times. Only it's not nine because I'm working in the hundreds spot. It's nine hundred. So, 7 times 9 hundred would equal 63 hundred. Now let's subtract. Okay, we worked in the hundreds place. The next number is going to be in the tens place. You have to work down each step of the way. So, 7 can go into 48. 7, 14, 21, 28, and we can know that we can get there, that we can get to um, 42, because 7 times 6 is 42, but it's not 6, it's 6D, because we're working in the tens place. So 6D times 7 would equal 420. This has a 0, so this has to have a 0 too. Now we subtract. That's going to leave us with 64. Now, how close can I get 7 to 64? 
Well, I know that 7 times 9 is 63, and that's as close as I'm going to get. Now, this is a 9 because we're in the 1 column now. We did thousands, hundreds, tens, ones. So 9 times 7 is 63. Subtract 1. Now, remember, when we do it this way, we have to take these partial quotients and put them back together for our full quotient. So 969, don't forget your remainder down here, is 1. Those are both ways that are acceptable ways to do your long division.